Hello, hello everyone. We are here with the third episode. Is it the third? Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, episode of the series. <clears throat> so last time we defeated the boss that was in the undead asylum, and uh, it was pretty easy, tedious because it does have a lot of health but pretty easy so this time uh, we're gonna uh, get out of the undead asylum and we're gonna go to adventures so <clears throat> we have a bunch of salts that we can use uh, maybe we're gonna level The crow is taking us back. Some people think that the crow is the goddess Belka, which is the goddess of sin in this game. Pretty cool, interesting theories. If you wanna check the lore out, be sure to do so. It's very cool, it's a very uh, cool and interesting part of the game. <coughs> anyway, uh, so, we've taken uh, the route back. Why did we do that? To take the ring, if you remember, uh, we took, um, I think, the rusted iron ring was the name. <coughs> the, yeah, rusted iron ring. What does this thing do? Um, a bunch of things. Uh, it says um, it says that it helps you um, when the footing is unstable or something like that. Um, what it does is it makes you run faster or run like normal in muddy or watery um, ambience. Hello. Uh, anyway. And that's pretty important because uh, we can go through here and go into Blight Town. And uh, we're gonna find ourselves in a really muddy environment. Or we could go to the Hydra, uh, you remember the Hydra, uh, in the garden. <coughs> and we, we could kill it more easily. Um, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, let's uh, let's Ooh, buy horse. I, would... I I don't know if we're gonna use it. I don't think we're gonna use it, but you never know. And let's level up. Um, I think we're gonna level up this dexterity a bit. Uh, yeah, we we couldn't use the Black Knight Albert. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna have to level up Vitality one of these days because I don't really like it so low. Okay, so the black man. Uh, one hand. Okay. We have to uh, wield it with both hands because, of course, we don't have the, uh, the strength requirement. So let's see. Um, okay. Now we can fast roll. This should do so much damage. Well, let's go. Um, where are we gonna go? Uh, we're not gonna go uh, to the Hydra and we're not gonna go to Blighton just yet. Um, we're probably gonna pass uh, through the bridge where the Drake was. Do you remember the bridge? Uh, well, if you are keen to exploration, if you like it, uh, you're sure to remember um, doors that didn't open at the time, uh, things like that. We are gonna go uh, through one of these doors. 
where the Elkite Drake was. <coughs> Let's go through here. Come on, meat boy. Uh, anyway, as you can see, this weapon is insanely strong. Insanely strong. Yeah, we can't use a shield, but I mean, it has a really long reach, so we shouldn't need to. Um, let's go through here. Anyway, <coughs> we're gonna pass through the bridge, and what we're gonna um, find is a door that we didn't that we didn't open at the time because it was closed, of course. But now we have the key. Um, it's gonna take us to one of the toughest bosses encounters of this of this game, uh, which is the Capra Demon. Uh, or at least many people think it is. Some people spent hours and hours uh, to beat that boss, and some people just beat it the first time easily. And why is that? Of course, because uh, uh, if you have a good shield, if you have some good equipment, uh, the fight is uh, uh, well. As I was saying, yeah, I um, I should have gone to the bonfire before, uh, but no matter. Um, we're gonna go back anyway. As I was saying. Uh, if you have some strength, some stamina, and a good shield, okay. Okay, the plan was that the uh, Drake was gonna go away, so it it worked. I didn't remember if I took the um, bonfire, but. Unfortunately, I did. Anyway, let's go through here. Uh, we took the key. So now, uh, let's use the claymore. I am more comfortable using a shield for now. And, uh, I mean, we're gonna need a shield against the Cabra Demon. A good shield is uh, <coughs> the key element to um, that is gonna make it easy to win against the Capra Demon and I mean I can say that this is a, a really good shield uh, I mean it is but um, it depends yeah against the Capra Demon the most important thing for a shield is stability uh, this uh, this shield doesn't really shine for that. Also, a little bit of trivia. Did you know that there's um, a trick on the speedrunning uh, that um, PewDiePie discovered here? Um, it was just uh, just a case, just fortune, just luck. And it's now called the, the PewDiePie. Um, I don't I don't remember if it's like trick or whatever the name is, but it has uh, the PewDiePie name in it. So um, uh, this guy is gonna uh, go to Paralink Shrine and is gonna make you learn um, <coughs> sorcery if you like it you're into that kind of thing, you know. Damn, this guy do so much damage. Uh, I'm really impatient uh, when it comes to these things because, uh, you know, I, I want to go to the boss uh, quicker, but the key to this game, as I already said uh, countless times, is patience. 
if you're patient, you're gonna be just fine. If you explore, take your time, you're gonna um, you're gonna find some trinkets, uh, uh, some really useful things. Anyway, there are a bunch of assassins here that uh, should spawn through these doors. But if you have a nice weapon, you can kill them before they even uh, open the door. Oh. How did it hit me? I don't even know. It, it was still. Okay, pretty good if I do say so myself. Let's go through here. Let's kill the dog first. And let's kill these guys after. careful with the um, <coughs> status uh, the status they put on you it's bleeding it's a bleed I mean and um, when the bar goes to full uh, they usually put it on you uh, with their with their daggers and uh, those knives they throw at you so if the bar goes full you're gonna take uh, a bunch of damage all, uh, all at once. It, it mostly has uh, a surprise factor. It's not like, you know, poison that's over time. So, we are finally here. Let's see if I have a decent shield. Because, of course, you see stability 55. Uh, 56, 55. How much stability does our shield have? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, 51. I, I don't I don't know if that's good or not. I don't think it's good, but I don't think it's bad. Uh, just to be sure, let's take this and uh, um, let's put on the elm and some gauntlets. Uh, okay, we should be fine. We should be rolling fine. Okay, let's try to beat this guy. Of course, there's a little RNG um, factor to this boss. Uh, but it, it, it's not uh, like uh, impossible or like that. Uh, be careful because it jumps at you from there and you could get it. So we dispatched the two dogs. If you go from here, uh, you take the first hit on the shield, roll and dispatch of the two dogs, the, uh, the fight is gonna be incredibly easy. Um, this guy on his own is not, uh, is not that difficult. You, you just have to go to his side, like always, uh, keep your shield up, there are some moves he does that uh, break through your shield, but you're, uh, you're gonna see them for a while, this, this move doesn't even break your shield, I'm gonna make you see which one does, it's one where he jumps at you from afar, let's see if he does that, uh, I think he's not gonna do that, but no matter. You just go, you turtle up, you wait patiently, and you eat. Go back a little. Ah, this, this one. This one goes through your shield. And you can see that. I mean, he charges, uh, uh, he charges uh, his, um, his hit. Uh, you can see that from a mile away. That's gonna be a really uh, potent. Um, so, we just go behind this back, uh, put the shield down sometimes to recover our stamina, and put some distance. 
the um, mostly the the thing that really uh, makes people lose their shit over this fight is the fact that it's in a really tight space. There are the dogs and there is uh, this guy uh, that uh, hits you when the dogs get an opening on you. If you are, um, if you have just a cool mind, a steel mind, when you enter this boss fight, you're not gonna have that sh that much problems uh, like uh, many others have. See, first try. So remember, good stability shield. Still mine, you enter the boss fight, you take a bunch of it on your shield, just go past and roll up here. The dogs are gonna follow you first because they're um, faster. You just hit them once, twice, uh, heal up. If you have problems, just go down, uh, distance yourself, uh, heal, rinse and repeat. So let's go this way. Um, we uh, we have now our key to the depths. That guy is suspicious, but this guy is more suspicious. See? Be careful of your surroundings. <clears throat> uh, I should uh, change my shield. This one is pretty good, but you know. The stamina regeneration makes things faster. So we're not gonna go that way because we are gonna explore. What did I what did I teach you? Explore always. Let's kill this guy so he doesn't uh, harass us. Uh, so this way there's another undead merchant, a female one. I don't remember what uh, she sells, but she sells some kind of useful stuff. Uh, you can check her out, and she checks you out. She's kind of a pervert. <coughs> so, we're gonna go this way. And where are we? Uh, you probably, you can probably already guess on the right. We are a farming shrine. I didn't even eat it. How didn't I eat that rat? I don't know. Sorry. Please, can I, can I go through? Sorry, ma'am. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Please. Can I, can I just pass through? Yeah. Thanks. Anyway. Anyway, we're gonna go to Farling Shrine so we get some of our Estus back. And uh, I don't really remember when uh, where we uh, used the bonfire last time, I think it was. Uh, of the yellow kite bridge, so this is uh, quicker. This is a bit bigger. Um, so, we could level up the dexterity, uh, but maybe we should get some endurance and vitality. Uh, let's do endurance for now. So, uh, we can equip a bit more stuff. Uh, let's go with the um, you know, with the halberd for now. Uh, no, uh, we're not there yet. Uh, let's see, maybe something like this. I don't know. Mm, let's go like this for now. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty sex. I really like the female version of this. 
I wish the male version had uh, another one similar that you could use. Uh, let's kill this guy. Now, um, we are gonna go into the depths and uh, um, into the depths we're gonna find uh, another boss and we're gonna find another way to go uh, through um, to go to Blight Town. Of course, uh, not everyone picked the master key when they uh, went into the game. So uh, the door uh, through, uh, from Firelink Shrine is not open to everyone. Uh, now we're gonna do the other route so that we can uh, show everyone uh, how to get there and how to finish the game. Uh, the route from uh, Firelink Shrine is much faster, it's much easier, honestly. But I mean, if you're new to the game, you don't really know what the master key does, you haven't watched YouTube or anything like that or you just don't want to get that uh, you just want to get the keys by yourself uh, this is the route for you I think we're gonna go to the bonfire and then just stop for now sorry miss uh, this is why I don't really like playing without a shield because sometimes uh, rolling through the enemies uh, is a pain anyway come here boy come here come here so you take your distance uh, If you are going to use uh, a weapon uh, two-handed instead, uh, instead of a shield, you really got, got uh, uh, learn and nail down the timings as you are seeing. I'm not faring too well in that department. So let's see what do we have here. Come here doggy, come here. So there's um, a guy here with his dog. Ooh, he's mad. He's mad that I killed his, his dog. And now we're gonna kill him too. Fuck you and your dog. Uh, also, um, these guys. These fuck guys are actually not guys. Uh, they are females NPCs. Large Amber. So now we could uh, we can upgrade the claymore to plus ten. Um, let's go here. Fuck. Fuck. Um, let's drink. Maybe this wasn't the best, um, you know, setting to use the Albert instead of just a uh, one-handed weapon and a shield. But you know. Ooh, we gained the uh, one of humanity. Uh, it's gonna be pretty useful. We could have used the rusted iron ring. To uh, travel faster in the water, but we didn't for now. So here, uh, those girls are uh, the hitmen. They are cannibals, and this guy uh, was gonna be hitmen. And this guy is gonna uh, um, teach us pyromancy. <coughs> Pretty good. Um, 
Let's switch weapon. Let's pick up the trainer. Because there is another one here, see? If you pay attention to the sounds, and even if you just pay attention to the ambience, you uh, would have seen that the guy uh, was there, or the girls, whatever. I mean. Did I just assume her gender? Uh, suck. Wow, pretty cool. Let's see. Nice. Really nice. Anyway. <coughs> Uh, this uh, this NPC was there, waiting to jump down and ambush you. <coughs> Let's go for here. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, um, wow, what a cool trinket! Why shouldn't I take it? See, there's something up there let's see if we can um, we're gonna use this these lines are gonna be um, the next enemy you're gonna encounter here in the depths pretty annoying they don't really do that much damage, you just eat them over and over, and uh, that's about it. But they're annoying because they uh, have, uh, they have uh, pretty, pretty good output. <clears throat> Let's go through here. Let's drink. Uh, I took the Albert because, as you can see, it does so much more damage. And we're gonna dispatch all these things pretty quickly. And, as I said, if you uh, just hit them over and over, you're not gonna have any problems with them. Uh, you're not gonna need a shield or anything like that. Anyway. If you have the master key, you're gonna find a bonfire. If you don't have the master key, uh, you can just go um, ahead. You can just go ahead through here. Or from a passage that was uh, not very hidden behind uh, the girl, the butcher girl. And. Uh, you're gonna find the key uh, in the depths. For now, we're gonna close it. We killed the Capra Demon, and next time we're gonna uh, kill the Gapen Dragon, or Vagina Dragon, uh, as someone calls it. So, I'll see you next time. Nimbus out. Remember to check the link in the description uh, with the Twitch channel uh, right now. Uh, I'll probably be doing uh, a Praise the Sun run or something like that. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye!